Well, I think labeling, obviously, if things were labeled, it would wipe out GMOs from the food supply because 53% of Americans say they wouldn't eat GMOs if they were labeled, and the, and the FDA is officially mandated with promoting the biotechnology industry, so they ignore the desire of 95% of Americans who want mandatory labeling to promote the economic interests of five biotech companies. However, Mike, the, the thing is this. We don't absolutely need labeling in order to create a tipping point. Because if people, have, we now have a lot, thousands of products that are enrolled in this new non-GMO project, which is a third-party verifier for non-GMO claims. There's already 1,200 products that have been verified. Many of them bear the seal non-GMO project verified. If we can drive the health-conscious shoppers, the parents of young kids, the, the people who are sick, the doctors, if we can drive the most receptive demographics who are aware of these problems to choose pro products that are labeled non-GMO, to choose products that are organic, to choose products that don't have the at-risk ingredients from the eight GM food crops, that would be enough, even without labeling. Yeah, that's, that's really key. And again, for those listening or watching, this is just crucial. If you're eating GMOs, I believe that you are subjecting yourself to a risk of, of poisoning through your food. And I know Jeffrey completely agrees with that. Uh, believe it or not, Jeffrey, we're just about out of time for your segment. Do you have any final thoughts before we wrap this up? Yes, the American Academy of Environmental Medicine now urges all doctors to prescribe non-GMO diets to every patient. They actually uh, indicate that animal feeding studies show reproductive problems, digestive problems, immune system problems, accelerated aging, etc. It's not enough to simply... Be against GMOs and be against Monsanto and be against the government. We have to be empowered to, to make healthier choices ourselves. We have to say it's, it's going to be us that decides what we put in our mouths and not the biotech industry or their enforcement wing in Washington. And so I encourage people to learn more about the dangers of GMOs and to take those steps to protect themselves and if they have extra energy to protect the community by sharing the information with others. Well said. Jeffrey Smith, everybody, thank you for joining us and you can learn more at responsibletechnology.org. That's the Institute for Responsible Technology where Jeffrey Smith is leading the front lines fight against GMOs and for food safety. Thank you for joining us, Jeffrey. Great information as usual. Stay with us here on the Alex Jones Show. On the other side of this break, we're going to be joined by Ted Anderson with an update on gold plus additional information. We have a great guest coming up for you in the next hour. I'm Mike Adams. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>